Duty calls. Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I'm going to explain Captain Canuck in about a minute. The original character first appeared in Captain Canuck issue number one in July of 1975, and he was created by Richard Cumley and Rod Leishman. In the beginning of World War II, Canada issued a policy called the War Measures Act, where all non-essential foreign items, including comic books, were not permitted into the country, so the nation was essentially cut off from American comic heroes. In the mid-1970s, Ron Leishman, a cartoonist, discussed with Cumley the gap in Canada where there were no Canadian superhero comics. Richard went to work conceiving the first and longest-lasting Canadian comic book treasure, Captain Canuck. Canuck's superhero origin is that of Tom Evans, an agent for CISO, the Canadian International Security Agency. One day, while leading a Boy Scout troop in a campout, he woke up to see that all the children were missing from the campsite. He tracked them down near a lake where the children were under a form of hypnosis by aliens scouting the planet. One of the aliens shot an energy beam at Evans and he was rendered unconscious. When he awoke, he discovered that his already impressive strength, speed, and endurance had doubled. Using alien technology wired into his uniform, Captain Canuck is capable of limited flight and he can generate a personal force field weaved into his suit which protects him from physical damage and toxins. He's a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant and employs twin stun batons in battle. With the catchphrase of, duty calls, he is the champion of the true north and very polite. And that's Captain Canuck in about a minute.